Hello, in this video we are going to cover alert, so the alert component. So an alert, let me you know just implement a really simple one and you can see what they are. So you can implement them inside of a you know a column if you want to, you don't have to necessarily. I'm just gonna keep it all consistent. If you don't, you could specify you know it's width and you might want it to go all the way across, you might want it to be anchored at the bottom. You'll see you know why I'm saying that when you see you're immediately recognized it from other websites so we're going to put a div and then the div requires a class and the you need a class of alert and then you need essentially a theme and i'm going to put primary i will show you the you know all the other themes that are available in a second and you specify the role role which is alert i'm going to get the word out then and then we're going to need an id this id is optional we're going to be using this in a you know a little bit later in this video via javascript hence why i'm just pouring this in now again you can call it whatever you want and i'm going to say primary alert you can put whatever text here you want you know depending on what the alert is saying maybe the alert is saying please accept you know some sort of data protection act agreement maybe you need to reset your password maybe something's going to expire in you know five days something along those lines for refresh there we go we have this alert and it spans six columns so let's just say 12 instead so it spans all the way across in this particular row so this is a basic alert so on the alerts page, and I'm going to provide a link to this in the description. So don't worry, you will be able to see all this. These are all the different themes. So you just use you know, alert that's secondary or success, depending on what you're trying to, the message you're trying to convey. So if let's say maybe this appears when the user puts the incorrect password and email combo to log in, you could have like an alert, I mean a danger alert if maybe they've successfully posted something you could have a green alert maybe let's say their account is going to expire in 30 days and they don't have automatic renewal you don't necessarily probably want danger maybe you want warning or if it's just some, some something else you might want some of the others so that's a basic alert so now let's cover a slightly more i want to say complex alert but you know so with a bit more information so let me just duplicate that so this is what we get we get another alert and i'm going to just going to change this just to you know keep things fresh i'm going to say danger and i'm going to have no id because we're not going to be using this in javascript later and in here instead of just doing this we're going to have a h4 so we're going to have a header tag you can have whatever header tag you want I'm going to have a class, and the class is going to be alert-heading, which is built in, provides some styling, and I'm literally just going to put the text heading. Then we're going to put a p tag, and in here I'm just going to say main body, this is some awesome intellectual content. And let's put a horizontal rule. Again, this is just the styling. And I'm going to put a p tag and I'm going to say extra information. You'll see what this produces right now. So, this is what has been produced as a result of it. In here, I just want to mention, like inside of this alert, you can put any sort of HTML you want. You can put spans, divs, images, videos, I guess. You never know, you might want a YouTube video there to explain some feature of the website. Maybe the user doesn't seem like they're, you know, aware of what they need to do maybe they're clicking the wrong button for example so you can put whatever you want in there so this has just provided a bit more information like a little heading some text and then some extra information but again you can put as much you know information as you want this is just a great example that is provided on the official website so i'll for i just show you that and as you can see there's some rounded corners on all of it you could obviously modify the border radius in you know css if you wanted to remove that and do, 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 do. Is there anything else I want to show you in terms of this? Oh yes, yeah. so if you look, there's quite a bit of a big gap here. If you want to remove that, we can use a built-in margin utility by applying a class MB, which is margin bottom dash zero. 
and this will move the margin. So obviously they still, you know, a bit of padding, but that's just for some of the other, you know, just general, you know, elements that we're using, but it's removed it, removed it for this particular P tag and it looks a lot cleaner. Now, let me show you another type of alert, another type of, another type of alert that allows you to press a close button and it fades away. So what we are going to do is I'm going to grab the first one because you could combine into one of these, but I'm just going to have a simple one. You don't really need nothing complex. I'm going to put this as a warning one this time again, just for the sake of, you know, varying things up. I need to put the class alert dash dismissible. Dismissible. Make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Then fade and show. The role is fine. And we do want an ID here. I'm going to call this a last alert. And in here, I'm just going to put a strong tag. Again, this is optional. I just want to say error, error, error. Please deal with all errors immediately and if I save that and refresh we get this but we want a little X button here that closes it to do that you just put the button tag and the type is button and class is closed again this is all just built in stuff the classes are I'm going to put data dash dismiss equals alert so we are dismissing the alert and an area that's label not label equals close and if we refresh that we don't get anything because we need to actually sort of show something so we're going to show an icon and we're going to put a span area dash hidden equals true and in there i'm going to put ampersand time semicolon there we go now we have it so if i click that it disappears so that's a great way of showing an alert and maybe you want them to be able to you know get rid of it so just in case it's you know annoying them you know you see it all the time something will pop up at the top it might be asking you to you know accept some agreement it might be you know something to do with cookies then you can just dismiss it they might actually have a button that just says okay or continue or already agreed you know essentially it's the same thing as having that x you know thing you know you could put something else in here if you want to as long as you know this is still providing this because this this is what dismisses the alert so that's some simple alerts now let's actually use some javascript to manually show and hide an alert so i'm going to create up here a few buttons so i'm just going to use divs for the buttons just keep it really simple all dash 12 again you can use whatever sort of styling format elements you want i'm going to put strong and i'm going to say show alert and this is going to have an id of show alert again you can rename this whatever you want i'm just keeping it simple this is going to be called hide alert and this will show the text hide alert so if we scroll down now, we want to actually put some JavaScript. So we will generally put it after all of the other script tags have loaded. And you could either put it in some script tags here or load in an external JavaScript file that has all this code. Let's keep it in here just to you know, keep it simple. So first of all, we want to get the you know element from our website. To do that, we do first alert equals document dot get element by id and the id is first alert and this refers to 
this right here. We're also going to get the last alert as well. So this is last alert. Capital L. We're also going to get the triggers, you know, buttons. So show and hide alert. I'm going to call this show trigger. And this is going to be document dot get element by ID. And the ID. Uh, I mean, the button had an ID of show alert. And this is going to be hide trigger. I'll remove the T accidentally. Hide alert, and now what we're going to say is well, let me just add some empty lines so I can easily scroll up and down. I'm going to say show trigger. So, this is just some basic JavaScript. This is not a JavaScript, you know, video or tutorial series, but obviously, you know, it is useful to have that knowledge. So, a function right here. Don't need that for this. And here you could actually trigger another function that you have created. So maybe you want to reuse this code and again and again. Or you can just say something like first alert dot style dot display. So modifying the display immediately like this. And I'm gonna say block. So it'll be a block level element, which is what a div is. And if the hide button is pressed. You'll chain the display to none. Hide trigger. So if I refresh, if I click that, nothing's happening. If I click that, that goes away. It shows it goes away. It shows it. So that is how you hide and show a trigger. I mean, an alert or any sort of element on your website, really, via some other you know external trigger. In this case, it's a button. It might be a timeout trigger. After a few seconds, maybe you want it to disappear. It might be if there's another alert that appears, then you only want, let's say, only one or any maximum three alerts appearing. And now what I want to show you is how can we detect when we click the close button? Because I think that's a useful thing to be able to detect as well. So last alert dot add event listener. And we are listening on close dot bf dot alert. when it gets triggered we call this function and in here we could always call another set of functions if we wanted to and in here I'm just gonna put a console log and this is gonna say closing 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 save that refresh and if I click that it's closing 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 so that is it for alert like I said, I will provide this in the description. And there's also some other cool stuff in terms of links. So if you do have a link in there, you could use this class. And like I said, there's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can you know, check out on their official website. And that will be available in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.